Okay then, so this video is about Google Photos, comments and likes in an album. So at the moment, when you look on our three imaginary photos, which are of green tea, I'll tell you what, let's have a little first go and just click the Google Lens button to see if it picks anything up. That is correct, of course, that it is Clipper Pure Green Tea. It's quite interesting if you don't use um, Google Lens because it will pick out an awful lot of information. Notice that information is totally different than the last lot and then the last one here we can see that there are three sets of the identical images on the Clipper Green Tea and once again you can see the way that it's highlighted exactly. What a great work. Now watch at the bottom you've got share button, you've got edit and you've got Google Lens and the final one is delete. That's all we've got so watch this and something I learned today. So click one, two and three. I want to add those to an album which will be a new album. I'm going to call it, he says when it opens up, where's the title? Um, three, there we go. So I'm going to say Clipper. Um, green tea, that will do. Yee, green tea. Okay, so the moment we click OK, now we're inside the album and I click an image. Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. Look, nothing's changed. Nothing near the bottom down here. So watch, you go up to the top right, if you wish to, and you go to... Um, that's not true. Hold on. Go back one, he says. Ad hoc. No. One, two, third option option, which is share. Now, the moment you turn on the sharing opportunity, it will give you a link to that. And then it's got comments and likes down here. And I'm going to turn them back on. I'm the owner of this album. I go out. Then the moment I come back in there again, there is a little heart and also comments. And at the moment, nothing has been said. So um, I'm just going to say thanks for the tea. And I'm going to post that on there. Of course, it's for me, but that's it. Then you come back. And this time I've got one comment, which is fine. And I'm going to heart it as well. OK, it's just myself. Maybe I've got 50 different images and I just want to make sure that I can get a short list of my uh, reasonable images. OK, so if I go back now and then I hit the comments this time, it will show not only that I've made a comment to myself about thanks for the tea, but also it's got a little red heart that I have hearted that. That was it. it may be very, very useful for people if they either want to make a short list of their own photos in an album or, of course, share them out in the normal way. Remember, I've never shared this link to anyone. It's not like I've had to send it to a real person. If I had a friend, <laughs> it just means that I've gone into options, remember. I'm not going to copy the link. I'm sure I'm not giving too much away here. And for the moment, I'm going to turn that off. And it says, now, remember, if you do turn it off, this will remove all photos added by others, which doesn't apply to me. Remove all comments, including your own, and make the album private. And I'm going to say stop sharing to that. Now, I've, there we go, look, and you see it's automatically turned it off. And I'll go back, and then I go back in again, and oh my goodness, my little hearts and my little comments have disappeared. So that was it, folks. It was about, of course, the um, comments and likes and a tiny bit of Google Lens. I've learnt it. I've shared it. I hope it may be useful to people who ever watch this. Thank you very much. Happy Sunday. Stay safe.